Everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kraken Packs. I am your host, Mr. Bevers. How are you doing today? I hope you're all doing well. We're going to start today off with a box of Eternal Masters. Um, you'll notice that the plastic was a little ripped there. That was because I got hasty and cut it open before uh, I did my intro for YouTube. So you'll have to I have to apologize for that. But um, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I open all of my boxes live on Twitch.tv um, at Mr. Bevers. It's linked on my YouTube page. You can find it there. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is our, I believe, my fourth or fifth box of Eternal Masters. I got this one for a really low price because the guy at my local shop knocked a bunch of money off the cost of the price. The last one I got was 250 and then this is in Canadian, Don't so don't freak out at me. Um, in Canadian, 250 I got the last box for. This box was much cheaper than that. Let's just say that. We won't say by how much, but we'll say that it was much cheaper. Um, I have a weird feeling that it's not going to go well. I have a weird feeling that it's not going to go amazing. So we'll see how it goes. But let's just get right into things. Let's see if there's anything of interest in the commons. I don't see anything of interest in the commons. Chain lightning, very good. It's a nice uncommon. Holy moly! Okay, well maybe I was wrong. So, this is my first ever Mana Crypt. I've never opened a Mana Crypt before now. I know it's not the most pricey card in Eternal Masters anymore. Um, when Eternal Masters first launched, this was the priciest card, but I think Force of Will is now the one that's grabbing the most attention. I think this is down to around the 60 or $70 mark. Still not a bad hit. First pack, Mana Crypt. Can't really complain about that. Not really bad. And a foil worn power stone. That's probably worth something as well. So let's we'll we'll pull that down so that you guys can see it properly. And we'll put our foils over here so that they're nice and shiny. Look at that. Ooh, look at that shine. And we got a goblin token. Which we'll put off to the side. So second pack. The sideways pack was was good. Timberwatch Elf, Ashnod's Altar, not a bad uncommon, and a regular old Rorix Bladewing as our rare in that pack, and a Foil Monk Idealist. We'll put all our foils together. Nothing of interest in the commons yet again. Let's see here. Uncommons. Price of Progress is not a bad card. I don't know. I think it's about a dollar now. Him to Turok, also another good uncommon. And we've got a Vindicate as our rare in that pack. And our foil? Okay, so we've got our foil rare. And it's not that impressive. Uh, a foil glare of subdual. It's so shiny, though. Look at how shiny it is. My god. So shiny. The shiniest. If you haven't noticed, I changed my lighting a bit to hopefully help you guys see the cards a little better and also see the shine a little bit more. But you do get a bit of a shadow, which is unfortunate, so I'm sorry for that. One, two... I'm counting here again. It's just a habit that I came into... Uh, I came to adapt to, I guess, or pick up. I picked up that counting my cards from the Innistrad, the Shadows over Innistrad block, because you'd have to count 
to see if you had the extra flip or the foil in the back because you'd get eight commons instead of nine and blah blah blah. Roar of the Worm, Gaia's Blessing, uh, Mishra's Factory, good on common. Ooh, a Sensei's Divining Top, nice. It's one of the pricier rares in the set right now. I think it's still hovering around the 18 to $20 mark, that's not bad. Nice little thing. And we got a Foil White Mane Lion. Man, the foiling in th in this set is crazy good. Like, I don't know, they, they've obviously changed the process a little bit, but it's... The cards just shine like nobody's business. Like, I remember some of the older foils. It's actually hard to tell if it's foiled. Look at this pack. It's just, like, ripping apart. I don't even... Oh, my goodness. Just destroyed. Basically, we're looking for counter spells as our common slot card. We're looking at, like, uh, we want Daze and Brainstorm, things like that. For uh, Rancor is good for the uncommon slot. Lightning Bolt. Uh, Chain Lightning. We got another Mythic. Necropotence. Not the best Mythic in the set, but also not the worst. Not the best, but not the worst. I think it's somewhere in the 6 to $8 range, something like that. And a Foil Thornwood Falls. Because, you know, we didn't have enough of these lands from cons. Oh, what am I doing? That's not the... That's that. There you go. And we got a, go a goblin token. White-red goblin token. So specifically for the uh, goblin trenches card. Let's keep going along here. Nimble Mongoose. Okay, another Rancor. Alright. Two Rancors is not bad. I can't complain about that. Rancors is a very nice card. The Worn Power Storm uh, not foil is... I don't think it's worth anything right now. And our rare here is Unexpectedly Absent. The value of this pack is Unexpectedly Absent. And we got a Foil Firebolt. I keep putting the rares in the foil pile. My goodness. My goodness. So how is everyone doing? Anybody crack any of the second wave of Eternal Masters? Not the second printing, the second wave. Anybody else? Nobody? Let me know below in the comments. Or let me know live on Twitch, either way. Hunnan of Seeing Winds, Flint of Boar, Soul Catcher. And we got a Sulfuric Vortex. And our foil is a foil Land of War Elves. That's actually might be worth something. I don't know. I'll have to check. Land of War Elves is one of those like staple green mana ramp cards. Almost everyone I know that has a green ramp deck has a Land of War Elf in it. Most likely. Um, you know, I play a lot of kitchen table magic, so a lot of people will play green ramp decks and they'll run four of those guys just because it's a one drop that makes a green mana so on turn three on turn two you can have three mana very very good in that aspect field of souls blood braid elf is a good uncommon ancestral mask Ooh, shardless agent i think that shardless agent has come down in price a bunch i think it was around the eleven to twelve for i got a foil shaman of the pack meh yeah, that's not particularly amazing, right? Um, a foiled tidal wave. I don't know if that's worth anything, but I, I doubt it. But we'll see. It's an old card. Tidal wave is an old card. I think the best foils I've opened so far from Eternal Masters have been like the counter spells. I've opened two foil counter spells. Jareth, Leon Titan, and a foil prismatic lens. The foiling is so beautiful in this set. It's crazy. Just absolutely insane. For those of you checking out on Twitch here, make sure you go check out my YouTube page. I have been putting up pretty much all my unboxings as quickly as I can. Um, I'm trying not to 
just do a huge dump of videos to YouTube. So I do have a bunch more that are ready to go up and are going to be going up over the next few weeks. In fact, my Eternal Masters series is essentially the next one I'm uploading right now. All of my Kaladesh unboxings are up there already. Um, so make sure you check that out. Swords, Plowshares, good uncommon. Um, Armadillo Cloak, Torrent of Souls, and an Arcanus the Omnipotent. A Foil Gamble, okay. That's pretty good. Okay, so Gamble is one of the pricier rares in this set still, and so to get a foil one is pretty sweet. That is not bad at all, and that's our second foil rare in this pack. Our other foil rare was a Glare of Subduel. Two foil rares. Already, we're only halfway through the box. It's not bad. Not bad. Factor Fiction. Pretty sure that this used to be worth a bunch of money. It's sort of gone down in price now. Sanger Autocrat. Wall of Omens. Oh, oh snap! We got a friggin' Jace! Alright! Wow, this box has been way better than I was expecting it to be. I, w I had this weird feeling before I opened this box that this box was going to be really bad. Um, and I don't know why I had that feeling, but we've opened a Mana Crypt, an a Necropotence, and a Jace so far, and we're only halfway through the box. And we've opened two Foil Rares, one being a Gamble. This has been a crazy box. This has been a crazy box. And a foil harmonize. That's actually probably worth something as well, because harmonize is worth a couple dollars. Uh, just by itself, I think. Or at least maybe maybe a dollar itself, but foil harmonize is probably worth a couple bucks. Man, this this box. It's possible, yeah. I mean like I just had this weird feeling that it was gonna be a poopy box. I don't know why. I don't know why I had that feeling. I just had that feeling. Another counterspell. Good. Our uncommons. Uh, Milliken, Thunderclap, Wyvern, Alyssalana, Scarblade, and a Goblin, Charbelcher as our rare. And a Foil, Undying Rage. I don't even... There are a lot of new symbols and things. So, I mean, like, I don't fault you for not recognizing everything, because it's not really your fault. Uh, let's keep looking here. This box has been crazy. I don't even, like, I don't even know. Brawn, Hydroblast, a Xanid Swarm, and a Foil Werebear! Ah, uh, yeah, Foily Werebear. Look at that little guy. 2-2... Two, two, uh, or sorry, a 1-1 one, one for 2 mana that makes a green mana. But he has threshold that whenever you have 7 or more cards in your graveyard, he gets plus 3 plus 3, so he becomes a 4-4 four, four that makes a mana. Not bad. Back in the day, he was probably a force to reckon with, because you drop him on turn 2, get an extra mana out of it, and then once you have enough cards in your graveyard, you just he's a 4-4, four, four, which is already... Like, just increasingly bad for you. Relic of Progenitus. Future Sight. And a foil Lissalana Huntmaster. Wow. I just... The box can't get any better. Let's put it that way. The I think the box has shown us its value and that the rest of everything we're going to open is just going to be sort of middle of the road. There's not going to be another bomb. There can't... There can't be. There's no way that there will be another bomb in this box. Um, so we won't see Wasteland, we won't see anything like that, but we'll, we'll see what happens. But I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm calling it now. I don't think we're going to see anything crazy anymore. Serendib Ifrit. And a foil memory lapse. That might be worth something. That might be worth something.
Come on, open. Open says me. Pack. All right. Jeez. Oh, Let's flip everything around. Flame jab. Sprite noble. A death right shaman. Not a bad little rare. And we got a foil sprite noble. And a dragon token. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I always jinx it. Jinxing is always a thing. Honden of Seeing Winds. Havoc Demon. Honden of Cleansing Fire. Wrath of God. And a foil Wake of Vultures. No crazy uh, common or uncommon foils. Obviously, the foil gamble is pretty awesome, though. Like, can't really complain about that. Animate Dead. An Isochron Scepter. This card used to be worth a whole bunch of money. Now it's like only like three dollars or something like that. Not even. A foil tranquil cove. We're down to one, two, three, four, five, six packs. Six packs. Let's check out where it goes. Let's see where this ends up. Centaur Chieftain, Victimize. Viscera the Dreadful. And our foil is a Keldon Marauders. I don't think I was wrong about... I mean, like, I think I was wrong about the box as a whole, but I'm pretty sure that the, the second half of this box is all just kind of mediocre. Middle-of-the-road stuff. Which is fine. I mean, the fact that we got so many friggin' crazy pulls in the first half of the box is fine, right? Shaman of the Pack, Annihilate. There's another Mishra's Factory. That's the first card we've added to this pile in a while. Holy moly! Okay, well, I guess I was wrong again. Wrong yet again. A Caracas. Not, not as crazy priced as it used to be. It was $100 when this set first came out. Um, it's come down quite a ways. It's, I think it's down to, like, 40 or 50 dollars now but I mean still I mean Jace Mana Crypt and Caracas in the same box <sighs> Foil Necrotal my goodness this box was crazy um, this might be one of those ones where I have to go and do a, to a running total of the value for YouTube. I, I might have to do that and just be like, here you go. Factor Fiction, Havoc Demon, War Priest of Thune, Eight and a Half Tales, and a Foil Yavamaya Enchantress. I just... I don't even... I don't even know. There should not have been a fourth mythic in this box. And it definitely shouldn't have been a Caracas if there was a fourth mythic. It should have been something like the World Gorger Dragon. Right? <laughs> That's what I was expecting. If anything. Hunted of Life's Web. Pyroblast. Prodigal Sorcerer. Pyrokinesis. And a foil Warden of Evo... Evo's Isle. Two packs left. Two packs left. Oh, man. Okay. I can't even... I can't even. I can't even. Oh. Well, goodbye forever card. Goodbye forever, Mishra's Factory. There's our first brainstorm. And a Brogo. Uh, Brago. 
Brago King Eternal. A foil wake dancer. Did we already get one of those? I feel like we did. I'll have to look through. Two foils of the same card would be kind of weird in this in, in a box of twenty four packs. It'd be weird. Only two counter spells. Common slot card, twenty four packs, two counter spells. Good ball therapy. It's a good uncommon. And a giant solifuge. So there you have it. The end is nigh. A foil knight's whisper. Oh, we got the we got the wall token. Look at that little guy. I don't think I've seen that guy before. Let's look. That's the only wall token I've ever gotten out of this box. I don't think I've even seen this token, to be honest. Huh. All right, so if we get, if we're gonna do a recap here for YouTube, just quickly. So let's see, foil memory lapse might be worth something. I don't know. Foil harmonize could be worth something. Foil land of war could be worth something. And the foil power stone. Okay. Then let's look at here. We've got Caracas, right? Okay. Jace, Goblin Charbelcher, eh, uh, Arcanus, eh, Jareth, eh, Shardless Agent, good, Necropotence, Sven uh, Sensei's Divining Top, oh, what's that, a Mana Crypt as well, okay, okay, sounds fair. Then, I mean, our uncommons, we got a Kapal, Therapy, a Brainstorm, Mistress Factory. Was there three counterspells? No, there was only two counterspells, two Rancors, one Sword to Plowshares, uh, one Bloodbraid Elf. So, two Mistress Factory, one Chain Lightning, one Ashenod's Altar. So, like, the uncommons, they get, like, one ofs and stuff like that. The rares here are all kind of, like, middle of the road, nothing amazing. I think Deathrite Shaman and Wrath of God are probably the priciest out of this pile. The Ice Crown Scepter might be worth, worth a couple bucks, too. And then here, like our foils. Glare of Subduel, I don't know if it's too much, but Gamble. Foil Gamble. Can't really complain about that. Can't really complain about that. Anyway... For those of you watching on YouTube, thank you very much. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. Thank you for watching this Crack and Packs video of Eternal Masters. Uh, make sure you check out my other videos, and if you could like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it, and that would be great. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.